Hi, welcome to another Chrissy Talks. As you can see, we've had a complete makeover. No more green screen, no more pink and blue neon backgrounds. Just me, the bedroom, and you guys. So the recent official announcement from Capcom stating that Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil The Village is actually coming to consoles next year. I wanted to throw out my theory because there is many theories floating about the internet at the moment about how the story is going to go. My theory is a little bit crazy, but let's face it, crazy is what makes Resident Evil everything we love, right? Right? So for my theory to work, Mia lives at the end of Resident Evil 7. Now, obviously, she does live, apparently. It's canon. I don't know. I didn't realize there was two endings. Clearly, I keep getting the bad ending. Or I've had the good ending and I've completely forgotten. But anyways, you know, for my theory to work, Mia lives. Even if Mia survive. And honestly, I can't see Ethan or Mia being able to just carry on a normal life after this whole thing. For starters, they were infected with Evie's mold. That has to have some sort of complication somewhere. I mean, trauma as well. Ethan murdered Mia, what, twice in the game. Um, you know, Ethan seems to take it rather well that, you know, he's, he's gone through all this. Then, of course, there's Mia. Mia worked for the organization The Connections. Again, I will release a video explaining a little bit more about the connections, but they are basically the main people who made the mold and made Evie. Um, and what they were doing was they were shipping her to a, a, another location because Blue Umbrella had got wind of their organ uh, research and wanted to take it. I don't know. I don't know what they wanted to do with it, but basically they wanted to do something with it. So Mia was working for the Connections, which is a rival organization. I can't see Blue Umbrella or the BSAA letting Mia go. So there would have been two outcomes in my mind. Mia gets arrested or she's recruited by Blue Umbrella or the BSAA. Now for this theory, I've gone with she's recruited along with Ethan by Blue Umbrella. Knowing that Blue Umbrella wants to almost wipe their past and start anew gave me the thought that perhaps their next target to kind of wipe off and get their ties cut would be the family. Now, the, there's mentions of the family in Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. Simmons was the leader of the family at the time. But then when Carla dosed him with the virus that ended up turning him into T-Rex God, um, you know, the family then left him to die and that was that. So we now have new leadership within the family. So with saying that, it brings me to Lucas Baker. Lucas Baker was working for the Connections. We know this because he was given the serum so he wouldn't be affected by the mind control of Evie and that he was to report back on Evie's status and how she was progressing. And somewhere during this time, Lucas enjoyed what he'd done a little bit too much and turned on the connections and ended up with a new business partner. Was that new business partner the family? I think so. And I think he was giving them data on Evie and the mold. And when Chris Redfield shows up and basically starts tracking Lucas down and destroying everything, Lucas Baker is unable to send that final, most important document slash email through to the family. So they were unable to complete their research. And I'm thinking, has the family been researching the mold for any reason? Could it be for mind control? Could it be for keeping themselves nice and young? I don't know why, uh, but I definitely feel that they were researching the mold 
using the village that they are occupying as their research subjects, which could explain the weird and wonderful beasties that we're, we're seeing in the trailer. Um, it also could explain a little bit about the four ladies that we see. Um, with the E type, age acceleration was a thing. And if Evie didn't get her medicine, then her age cycle sped up. And that's shown because we've got old Evelyn at the end of Resident Evil 7. She didn't get her medicine, her age accelerated, and she stabilized herself. Now, I'm wondering that has the family managed to tap into keeping themselves nice and young? but are unable to keep themselves young. Maybe by drinking blood, they're stabilizing their infection. I don't know. I'm kind of, you know, wondering where the whole vampiric part of that trailer falls into the whole Resident Evil. But, you know, perhaps that's a working idea. Let me know in the comments what you think. So, the family's been working with the mold on incomplete information, or even if wrong information. We don't know what Lucas has sent them. So, I'm guessing Blue Umbrella may have tracked the family to this village. Uh, people definitely feel that it's in Europe. People are also suggesting that it's in Romania. More importantly, you know, because the buildings are looking like they're in Transylvania. You know, it's, it's got that gothic style to it. So I kind of, uh, I agree. It definitely doesn't feel like it's set in America. So that's pretty much what I think. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'll stop. So for my theory to work, Ethan and Mia survive and are recruited by Blue Umbrella. They are sent to this European village to basically draw out information about the family, on the whereabouts of the family, what are they doing. And I think they arrive there and unknowingly, and this is where it gets crazy. This is where it gets freaking crazy. Unknowingly, I think Mia could be pregnant and this brings up a whole set of complications because if Mia is pregnant then her fetus would be either resistant, immune or have some sort of attributes to the mold because we can't forget Ethan and Mia were infected yes they took the serum to stop Evelyn from being able to mind control them but ultimately they were infected so I'm wondering if that is still in Mia's kind of whole bio makeup now. Somehow, I don't know, Mia is kidnapped by the family. It could have something to do with that she's pregnant and that many pregnant women are taken to the family, perhaps for their babies to be born. You know, perhaps pure blood of a newborn is what keeps these ladies looking young and vibrant. I don't know. I don't know, a storyteller, uh, it's certainly something to wonder. <laughs> Mia is replaced with uh, a double. Now we know the family have this type of ability to do because Simmons was able to make an Ada Wong clone, Carla, who later turned on him. Um, so this could be really important if that's the case because it would explain what happens at the end of the trailer. I think that since Chris has such a mistrust on anything Umbrella, that he would have had a BSAA agent or somehow, man you know, tracking Ethan and Mia, or even been looking into the family himself. And I think that he may have caught wind that Mia isn't who, you know, the fake Mia isn't who Ethan thinks she is and basically swoops in with his ninja crew and shoots Mia multiple times. Don't ask me why Chris is all broody. 
Chris is very broody in the CGI movie as well. So this could be before or after that event. I don't really know. Uh, I tried my hardest to figure out why Chris would be so moody. Um, I mean, it could be anything. It could be Claire related. He could have just been dumped. You know, maybe, maybe he didn't get his pizza. You know, I don't know. I can't really, there's, there's simply not enough information for that. It's the same as there's the man with the glasses. I think that he is definitely a werewolf, judging by the, the nice golden eyes. But that's all I can tell you. There's simply not enough information for me to even speculate on who or what he is and why he's there. It's the same as the, the witch woman that we see very briefly. Um, I do feel that this Resident Evil has an occult feel to it. That perhaps um, they're trying to summon something. I don't know. I get this feeling because in the devs message after the trailer dropped they said pay attention to the symbol the symbol tells a lot and i've looked at the symbol i've stared at the symbol uh it definitely looks like a fetus usually when fetuses are used in symbolism it means rebirth um so you know are they trying to bring someone back are we going into demonology now? Don't know. But I would love to hear what your thoughts are in the comments. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing a little bit more lore videos for the likes of Blue Umbrella and The Connections very soon. Just to kind of... I, I think we might be hearing a lot more of these companies. Um, I feel like they're important. I might be wrong. <laughs> I don't mind being wrong, but do let me know what your theories are in the comments. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to tickle the bell. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.